Good evening. Hi, my name is Dr. Paul Zeitz. I'm the co-founder of Build a Movement 2020. Welcome to the inaugural broadcast of the Justice News Network. Today is February 11, 2020. I'm here in Bethesda, Maryland, and live giving you an update on our efforts to build a movement 2020 to usher in a more just and peaceful world. There, it's 265 days from today until the November 3rd USA election. And that is a 265 day period where the Justice News Network, or JNN, will be broadcasting each and every day, bringing you the good news about what's possible when we join forces, build a movement, and work together to solve our existential challenges. The Build a Movement 2020 is a cross-partisan mobilization of political parties, alliances, coalitions, organizations, and individuals across the United States of America from all walks of life, from all political parties, from all geographies, from all races, who are joining together to solve the existential challenges facing our country, our our humanity and our world. Our foundational commitment is that we are committed to ensuring the survival and flourishing of all of humanity and our natural world for ourselves and for all future generations. We're advocating for climate restoration emergency action. You may not have heard about the climate emergency yet, but you certainly have been noticing changing weather patterns, superstorms, floods, droughts, wildfires, affecting everyone here in the USA and affecting everyone around the world. We've crossed all the major tipping points and the climate emergency is spinning out of control. Leading climate scientists have informed me and others that we are at risk for a, an imminent human extinction event in the next two to 15 years due to an abrupt release of methane from the Arctic Circle if left unaddressed. The situation is grave, and there's really great news. We have the solutions. We have technical and natural solutions that can be implemented immediately to restore a proven safe and healthy climate so that we can flourish and thrive, not only now, but for future generations. I'm the father of five sons and one daughter-in-law, and I'm gonna be a grandparent later this year. And as a scientist and a doctor and a father, and a soon-to-be grandfather, I feel like it's my responsibility to do everything I can to restore a safe and healthy climate for those of us living here on Earth today, but also for our future generations. Today has been a really busy day. We're also working on other priorities that are required in order to solve these challenges. One of the most pressing matters is the opportunity that we have to heal America. The partisan fracture, the partisan bickering, the tiresome rant that goes on between the two existing political parties is turning everyone into despair and hopelessness. I certainly have experienced that myself. On the other hand, those of us who are joining with Build a Movement 2020 are participating in an optimistic opportunity to heal America. And we're calling for a mobilization across our country to heal America by working together and creating a participatory open process to develop the second version of the US Constitution. Our Constitution was uh, agreed upon in 1787, 232 years ago. And it was written by all white men who were slave owners and landowners. And they designed the Constitution to protect their greed and to subjugate others. We have been living under this framework for the last 232 years, trying to optimize it, trying to improve it, trying to fulfill on the American idea of life, liberty, and justice for all. After 232 years of attempting to do that, I think most Americans have come to the conclusion that our original constitutional framework is outdated, outmoded, and actually not working at all. I, I don't need to say anything beyond the fact that our political leaders 
have failed to respond to the climate emergency. There are a trillion tons of CO2 that have been pumped up into the atmosphere, most of it in the last 30 years, and no one in our political system, our leaders, are doing anything about that. And now we're at a point where we are actually at risk of human extinction. If that's not a manifestation of a failed legal and political system, then I don't know what is. So I am working with many others to build a movement, 2020, to come together and work together to write a second American constitution, America 2.0, in order to heal America and to ensure the survival and flourishing of humanity. The Liberty Bell is a symbol that I grew up with in Philadelphia. I always cherished the Liberty Bell and wondered how it got cracked. And I also wondered how, what it was used for. At the time of our independence, it was used for uh, liberation and for declaring independence and as a symbol of our, our founders uh, to uh, break free from British tyrannic rule. Then again in the 1800s, the Liberty Bell was revitalized as a symbol of the abolition movement. And throughout the 1800s and mostly in the 1850s and 60s, the Liberty Bell was resurrected as a symbol of liberty and justice for those that had been enslaved by the white uh, slave owners. Now again, I believe at this time in our history of our country, we have the opportunity to resurrect and revitalize and reconnect with the original intention of our Liberty Bell, which was to bring forward liberty and justice for all. We're at a moment where we're called upon by our ancestors, by future generations, to step forward with courage and valor and to recreate the American idea and bring forward an America 2.0 Constitution. So I hope you'll join with me and ring the Liberty Bell we're creating a purple tsunami. I will be wearing purple for the next 265 days as a symbol of my commitment to work together with all Americans. We have no enemies. This is an all hands on deck opportunity to join forces to ensure the survival and flourishing of humanity. Thank you for your time tonight and thank you for listening to the first inaugural show of the Justice News Network, JNN. We'll be having more opportunities for, to hear from all of you in the days and weeks ahead. But please stay tuned for tomorrow's episode of Justice News Network uh, on Wednesday, February 12th. Thank you. Have a great evening. Peace. Bye.